Hey guys, sometimes what happens with a 3D printer is that over the night, the filament, this yellow plastic stuff, will kind of break off and you'll need to kind of recalibrate it to get it to go back into the 3D printer. So I want to just show you guys a quick video of how I do it. And I don't have a tripod, so hopefully this works. Um, but basically what you have is this thing is called the extruder and I 3D printed this cool little part here which lets you um, just easily push down to kind of open it up so you can feed the plastic in. So when I open it up, you can kind of see that it's easier for it to get down into that little hole there. So you got to push that down and then you got to feed the filament through. So I'm going to try to do it so you can see. push down and you want to feed it through and you got to get it to kind of line up oh, get in there one thing I do too sometimes is like it'll be kind of bendy see it broke off again I kind of try to bend it so it's straight because it needs to go straight through into the top of that red thing And also I have the printer turned on and I turn the heat up so, so that when I start pushing this stuff through, which I think I have it in, it should be coming out the bottom, which it is not, just scary. Okay. One thing you can do too See, I have it in there. Yep. So it goes all the way down. There's another little hole you want there. And then the plastic should go all the way down and you should see it actually come out the bottom there. So I'm gonna use my little tool. Let's scrape this stuff away. Get away. What can happen sometimes, and I'm a little worried might have happened to us, is that these things can get clogged, which I haven't seen happen. So I wouldn't be surprised. But it's possible. Oh, you know what? So as I, I'm looking at the printer and I look up here and it said up here, it said error. So I think that could be part of the problem. Uh-huh. And see, look too. It had kind of disconnected, and the temperature is at 125. And we want to make sure your temperature is up to like 210. So if I just move it up like a degree, it should start heating up again. Okay. So there's a lot that goes into 3D printing. Okay. So I'll tell you right now, if you don't like solving problems, 3D printing is not for you. But if you like um, looking into new things and trying to learn new stuff, 3D printing is a lot of fun because you can really do a lot of really cool things. Um, so, we're going to let that heat up and then I'm going to just push it through a little bit and I should see it kind of squirt out here on the bottom and that's when you know that you're ready to print whatever you want to do. Okay? So I'm going to stop the video. Uh, we're just going to assume that worked and go from there.